day 12. I um, got to start at about noon, not about 12.30 today. Went out a route about 30 miles to get up to Fayetteville. So the Steed could get fresh oil, new tire, a couple new tubes. Had a few things checked out that were uh, bothering the or bothering uh, the motorcycle, not working well. So also changed or installed blinkers on the rear because one of them I melted completely off. All they had was a little cheapy replacement pair, so I installed those. We'll see if they last very long. But uh, spent a good night in Fayetteville. Got to see uh, two really good friends today. Bill Locke, who has a moving company there in Fayetteville. Admiral Moving, a Mayflower agent. And then uh, Stuart Smith, who just happened to be in uh, Fayetteville um, at the lake with Bill, with his wife. Uh, both came down, and so they were my hosts this morning. Had uh, two interviews with uh, radio stations and one uh, television station, so that was great. Um, the uh, service and all that was uneventful. Everything else checked out, tightened up the chain, all that fun stuff. Now that I'm on the back roads, not on uh, dirt yet, should be here within a five or six miles, but I am just about to enter Oklahoma. And then uh, I think I have 700 miles, something like that, that I have to do in Oklahoma before cutting across New Mexico and then into Colorado. You're probably hearing a lot of uh, wind noise today. It's pretty windy here. It is hot. I think the heat index is over a hundred for today. So it's like riding into a furnace, which is really pleasant. I also do want to really thank uh, Bill Locke for setting up the uh, interviews that I had. Those were all done through his connections. I also got to go see Bill's new warehouse, really nice facility that he built. Brand new, he's been in it for about a month. So that was awesome. Bill is a very successful businessman. And I really do appreciate him playing such a great host for me while I was in Fayetteville. Been on the dirt here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Old dirt roads. I'm anticipating a lot of these through Oklahoma. But I wanted to give a shout out to somebody very important to me, which is my wife. Um, she is holding down the fort in my absence, which I can't thank her enough. Not too many wives would put up with some crazy husband that has a wild idea to help wounded warriors by riding a dirt bike across America. We have four kids of our own, three of them still at home and uh, they are helping out their mother and then we also have four little girls that are staying with us right now and uh, from a homeless family uh, that we've known for a little while so all together my wife has seven kids in our house and uh, that is a lot of work for both of us let alone her by herself and the rest of my family so Heidi I love you very much thanks for letting me fulfill this dream and to be able to help our wounded warriors honey you're the best um, you've truly uh, stepped up like Wonder Woman and uh, taken all of this on so thanks very much honey I love you all right here's a nice little section of uh, road right on the border of uh, Oklahoma Makes the ride more interesting than flat country roads, which is awesome. Definitely tell the difference with that new tire. New shoes always makes it stick to the road a little bit better.
you probably hear more wind noise since I've switched over to my goggles. It's cooler to wear the off-road goggles at slower speeds. Let some air get in the helmet because it is hotter than HE double hockey sticks. How's that for keeping everything PG? Well, believe it or not, I am finally on the trail, back on the trail. When I was leaving Fayetteville, well to get to Fayetteville I went about 35 miles out of route, which I skipped about 50 miles worth of trail. So when I left Fayetteville to connect back to the trail, I ended up making a left hand turn and I should have made a right. So I ended up backtracking down the trail on the section that I missed and didn't realize it until I got to the end of the section. So guess what? I rode about 60 miles, well, 55 miles worth of trail that I wasn't supposed to. So then it takes me 70 miles to get back, get up on the road, took a faster route versus taking the trail back. So all together, that just cost me three and a half hours. So I am finally now on Oklahoma dirt roads. Just filled up with fuel. Now I have to see how far I can make it before turning in for the night. So major faux pas on my part just in a hurry coming out of Fayetteville wanting to get I was just in a rush to get back up on the trail so big time screw up but oh well three and a half hours out of 30 days it's the way it goes Well, if there's one good part about my mix-up, at least I got to ride the trail that I missed yesterday. And I did get a couple good photos. The, um, the mountains around Fayetteville are just spectacular. So, there is always a positive, right? So, not all straight roads here in Oklahoma. Looks like it... Uh, very similar to Arkansas here on this side. A little bit of technical riding. Narrower roads. Alright, wrap up of day 12. Once I got back to the original trail going in the right direction, then uh, I rode pretty hard and uh, trails were good. Uh, fairly rough, had a little bit of carnage on the bike, came off of a jump and uh, my bag shifted back when I landed, broke my tail light completely off and um, also just about ripped my license plate off. So word of wisdom, uh, make sure your bags are really tied down well before you jump. And um, also my selfie stick was a, uh, a victim of the carnage today, it broke in half, uh, probably during one of my landings. So uh, you're probably seeing me a little bit closer because my arm is only so long. Um, I am ending up camping outside of Salina, Oklahoma at a lake. Uh, great scenery here, beautiful uh, location. And, uh, it's a little bit of an irony because I was born in Salina, Kansas. So I um, thought what an appropriate place for me to camp for the night. Uh, tomorrow I will get up early and uh, with the mistake that I made, I ended up riding about 130 miles that I didn't need to ride. So I'm really only about 
100 miles, uh, no, about 90 miles down the trail uh, from what I should be. So I need to make up time tomorrow. So I'm gonna get up early and uh, cruise. Tonight I was able to uh, get a hold of Rocky Mountain ATV and order a rear uh, brake lens. So I'm having that shipped into Boise, um, Oklahoma, where I should be on Friday where, when it comes in. And uh, I'll either just stop by there or stay. Right now I probably have another 525 miles here in the state to cruise. So I will get up and at them early. Hope everyone is having a good evening. Uh, thanks for watching.